I'm Mrs. Paul Duke, one of the counselors at Desert Shadows Middle School. Today we will be learning about registration for 7th grade at Desert Shadows Middle School using the yellow registration card that your teacher has passed out to you. Please have your registration card in front of you now. As you look at the card, please notice at the top it says Please fill out in blue or black ink only. Please be sure to use a blue or black pen. We will begin on the right hand side of the card where it says 6th grade teachers only. This portion of the card is to be filled out by your current 6th grade teacher only. You will not need to do anything on this part of the card. Moving to the left side of the card, we have the electives listed. This is a very important piece for you. Be sure to read it carefully and understand what you are choosing. You will find course descriptions for all of the classes that are electives on the back of your card. Let's take a moment now to look at how our day is set up at Desert Shadows Middle School. You have eight periods during the day. Seven of those are classes and one is lunch. As you look at this example, you can see the ones in green. You will automatically be scheduled for these core academic courses. English, Science, Social Studies, and Math, and of course lunch. Your teacher will place you in the right level of these classes. The other two classes are elective classes, classes that you get to choose from the list on the card. Let's take a look at the card and see what your options are for the different electives. Full year courses are classes that you would be in from the time school starts in August all the way through May. They include concert band, beginning band and orchestra, PE or advanced percussion ensemble. PE is also offered for just a semester or half the school year. If you check one of these options under full year, you will be in there the full year from August through May. The bottom half of the card shows semester long classes. These classes last half the school year. These include art and ceramics, Digital Concepts, Spanish 1, French 1, PE, Drama, Mixed Chorus, Guitar, Percussion, and Neuroscience slash Forensics. As you can see, we offer a lot of choices at Desert Shadows Middle School. Please be careful when making these choices. Be sure that you choose the classes that you would like to take next year because we hire teachers based on the choices that you make on this card. Please be careful, take it seriously, and talk with your parents about it as well. We do our best to place you in the classes that you choose. After registration ends, however, we are not able to make schedule changes. This is why it is so important that you choose your electives carefully. an example of what your schedule may look like if you choose two full year classes. If you choose band and PE, both full year classes, your schedule may look like this. You would have these classes for the entire school year. You also have the option of choosing one full year class such as band and taking two other semester-long classes, such as French and Drama. Your schedule would look more like this. Your third option would be to have all four elective choices semester-long classes. Your schedule would look something like this. First semester, you would have French 1, then second semester, Drama. 
You would start in PE and at the semester you would change to mixed chorus. In this example, I have chosen concert band as my first choice, French one is my second choice, and my third choice is drama. It is important that you rank order your choices. If you are choosing semester courses, you would number your choices with a 1 by your first choice, a 2 by your second choice, a 3 by your third choice, and a 4 by your fourth choice. Then you will indicate your alternate choices. Put an A1 next to your first alternate choice and an A2 next to your second alternate choice. If we can't give you your first four choices, we will go to your alternates to choose your electives. What you want to do? Hey, uh, bring me down. Can't none. Finally, at the bottom of the card, be sure to sign and date where it says student signature and date. Make sure you have your parents sign and date where it says parent signature and date. Now go ahead and print your name on the upper right hand corner where it says student name printed. That way if you lose your card, your teacher will be able to get it back to you. Now that you are familiar with our registration card and how to complete it, let me remind you that the course descriptions are on the back. You want to read those carefully and please be sure to turn in your card by the due date that your teacher tells you. If you are interested in seeing this video again for more help, it will be posted on our school website at www.pbschools.net slash dshms. Thank you so much for your attention and we look forward to seeing you next year.